guys, because there's so many things that these pictures bring out that obviously we're all going to have our own uh, experience with or, or without. Hopefully, uh, some of this touch you in, in the right way. Uh, this was our first combat assault going from uh, Coochie into the bush somewhere. And uh, this was in January of 1968, about uh, three weeks after we got in into, into town. Here we are. I'm sitting in the end off the chopper here, and uh, there's a C-130 flying by, pretty close. But uh, everything was cool, and uh, we had some action that week, which uh, started a series of events that none of us will ever forget. Sitting in a rice paddy, in Quang Tree Province. Airstrikes coming around, coming in here soon. We'll see some napalm. Weather. It was uh, cold and damp the whole time. There's my friend Harry Adams sitting in the same rice paddy and uh, smoking that cigarette. <laughs> That's Harry. Okay. There's some artillery uh, going off there up in uh, I Corps uh, around LZ Jane, LZ Sally. It unloads and shoots that shell. It's only open for about a second or two and pretty good, pretty good shot. For your artillery guys. Here's what they call the exposed punji pit. And with a Willie Peter white phosphorus grenade in there that was along the trail. Obviously, somebody somebody discovered that before we got there, which was nice. And uh, those bamboo sharpened stakes were usually dipped in feces to uh, cause a little injuries to your calves and your knees or your thighs, whatever, ankles, if it would happen and uh, caused some serious infection because of that. So we had to be careful about those traps. Here's some jungle stuff, uh, deep in the jungle. You can't really see too far around yourself. Uh, well, and then again, a white phosphorus grenade that we had as well. And uh, eh, it was crazy, man. Jungles are nuts. Here we are up in i -Corp, and uh Vietnam was supposed to be the uh, hot jungly place, but here I am taking a little siesta. I guess they told us to take a knee. <laughs> I took a uh, a back and uh, laid on a poncho with a t-shirt, then a jungle sweater, what they called a uh, fatigued shirt, and then a field jacket. It was kind of cold and damp up there, really bad. Hopefully, a lot of you guys did not get that. You got the nice warm weather down south in uh, Four Core. Here we go. We're trading at the wire. It's a private plant in front of us. With, uh, with his back to us in the center. Uh, private West from Alabama to his right. And a gentleman named Hart from Rochester, New York, uh, without the helmet. And these women and kids would come up and try to sell us uh, exchange things like. Uh, Un, you know, forget, forgiven and forbidden things like marijuana and beer and uh, whatever, fruit and vegetables. And we would give them cigarettes, candy bars, soap, things like that. Little things like that used to take place. Here we are. Uh, here's our, uh, Lieutenant Ben is on the phone uh, behind uh, that post. Seems like some kind of temple or something. I'm leaning against that little post, uh, having some sugar cane. We used to find that out there, cut it down raw. It was just interesting uh, uh, dessert. And here we go. This last picture here is going to be about Christmas. And uh, this was a second squad, second platoon, B Company, first to the 502nd, with a lot of guys that just aren't here anymore, man. Scotty and Lucas and uh, Menninger and Hubbard and Logan and Davis and Barnes, uh, good time in one of our hooches. Sergeant Kreck, our squad leader, is probably taking the uh, picture. He was from Philadelphia. In fact, he never made a home and he didn't see his twins ki twin kids that were born, which is pretty sad as well. Questions? Yeah, we are. The cool. Where are those questions? Okay. Yeah. Your brother was at Kuchi. They had a swimming pool. Great way to relax after battle. You're right. And actually, uh, I saw one in uh, Saigon, and some of the people had no idea, especially the Air Force guys. I couldn't believe they 
because they was like sort of stationed at bases and they uh, had a uh, what do you call the uh, more access to those kind of things than guys in the field who just came back for a little bit of you know weekend pass or get some aspirin or something. Okay, you were at D. Alan Pope with that with D Company first to the five oh second L Z Sally. There you go. You got there just when we were going home. We got over there in December sixty eight, and you got there in November six. No, we got there in November December. Sorry, December sixty seven. You got there in November sixty eight. Yeah, it was a tough time. Then welcome home, brother. Glad you made it. Next. Uh, my guy, hey cousin Roseanne, thank you very much. <laughs> Appreciate the comment. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. We also need. Here's what we need. We can't find enough good guests. Don't be shy. Any Air Force, Marines, uh, Army, Navy, Coast Guard guys, write us. Go to Vietnam Veterans Photo Club and tell us you'd like to be on your show. Would you like to hear your uh, be on the show? You'd like to hear your uh, experiences that you had in Vietnam. And uh, just contact us at fallingforneverforgotten.com. Welcome home. God bless you all. And good night.